God. What a mighty God we serve. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Good afternoon. It's so nice to be here with you again this afternoon, just to share the, the word of God with you and to bless you. If once more, I am here breaking the bounds of infertility, going across the nations of the world, bringing the healing gospel of Jesus to the families of the world, breaking the bounds of human infertility and letting people know that God is a faithful God. The God we serve is merciful and he is kind. Today, again, I am here to be a blessing to you. Before we start, I just want us to pray to acknowledge the presence of the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Spirit of God, in Jesus' name, I yield myself to you this afternoon in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the opportunity and the privilege of sitting here, Spirit of God, so that I can be a blessing to your people. I pray that someone will hear this message, that it will touch their lives in a way that we bring a change, that we bring a transformation in the name of Jesus. I pray, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, that you will use this program to heal somebody, to give somebody hope, to let them know that you are there for them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. And this afternoon, the title of my uh, of my message is God's word can never fail. God's word can never fail. I don't know where, what, you, what you are going through right now, but God sent me to come and tell you that his word can never fail. What is it you are going through and it looks as if everything is finished. It looks as if there is no more hope for you. God sent me to come and tell you that his word is not going to fail. The text of my, uh, I'm taking uh, my Bible verse today from Isaiah 46, verses 10. Isaiah 46, verses 10 says, Declaring the end from the beginning. God is declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all that I propose. God said his counsel will stand. The promises of God will stand. The purposes of God will stand. You know, sometimes I hear people say to me, I've been praying and the word of God is not working. Mm -mm. The counsel of the Lord will stand. The purposes of the Lord will stand. The plans of the Lord will stand. There is no power that can overrule the promises of God. There is no power that can overrule what God has promised you. The counsel of the Lord will stand. Are you struggling to have a child? Are you struggling in your business? Is your ministry failing? Are you struggling in your business? Are you struggling in your education? In your personal life? In your finances? Does it look as if everything is falling apart? Does it look as if you are not going to make it through the next 24 hours? What is it you are going through? God sent me to come and tell you that his word can never fail. God sent me to come and tell you to hold on. Hold on. Hold tight. Hold strong to the promises of God for they do not fail. The Bible says he renews his mercy upon your life every morning. The promises of God will not fail you. God told me to tell you his purposes will stand. The counsel of the Lord will stand. I, for one, I am someone that has run this race with the word of God for many years. And I want you to know that when God is backing you up, there is no power that can bring you down. The purposes of the Lord will stand in your life. 
God's counsel is not going to fail you. Oh, don't stop speaking the word of God. The Bible says the word of God will stand. It will stand sure in your situation. God's word is the only power that will prevail. It's going to prevail. The Bible says that the word of God will grow and prevail. There is no time for the word of God to be growing. The word of God does not grow in, in, in terms of that it's growing in the spirit realm. The word of God is already finished. The word of God will only grow as you grow into it. You can only grow into the word of God. The word of God is finished. It's the models of the word of God stand firm. They cannot be moved or shifted. But you can grow into the word of God and as you grow, things around you will change. As for the word of God, it cannot fail. It does not fail. The word of God will persist. It will persist. It will not. Nobody can alter what God has written. Nobody can dilute the word of God. No power can stop the word of God. God's word will stand sure. It will do for you what God promised you. The word of God will continue. That word will continue. God said heaven and earth will have to pass away for even one single promise he made to fail. Those promises cannot fail. They do not fail. They will not fail. The promises of God cannot fail. They stand firm in the heavens. There is no power that can shut down the promises of God. God Almighty is the faithful God. God sent me to come and tell you that his word stands firm. His word is standing sure. His word is standing strong. His word is standing. It cannot be moved. The promises of God are sure. No one can alter it. Don't stop speaking the word of God. Don't stop speaking the word. Do you have a promise for your situation? Then I encourage you, don't stop speaking it. For the word of God, the Bible says in Acts 19.20 that the word grew and prevailed. What does it mean to prevail? It means that the word of God overcomes. The word of God is the only overcoming power. The word of God will beat down anything that stands in your way. The word of God will beat down that thing and make a way for you. The word of God will overrule. God's promises overrule every situation. I want to share a testimony with you. I have just come back from my home, com uh, uh, my home country, Nigeria. And while I was back home, I met a cousin of mine. She is not really a strong believer in the Lord. And she had like so many fibroids and growths in her stomach. And her stomach looked like there was a calabash in the stomach. So I said to her, I'm going to pray and I'm going to curse the root of those growths and fibroids. And she said, uh, she didn't believe anyway. So I told her my testimony. I said, I, I, I have had fibroids and growth in my womb before and I cursed it and God removed it. I said, I will pray for you. God will do what he did for me for you. She said, no, she didn't believe. She said, the doctor said this thing is so big. They, they want like three or four million naira from me to operate. I don't have the money and blah, blah, blah. She was just going on. So while she was arguing, the Holy Spirit said, I should pray for her anyway. So I said, well, I know you don't believe, but I'm still going to pray for you. So I laid my hands on her and I prayed. You know, sometimes we are thinking because people don't believe, nothing will happen. But I just prayed for her. I laid my hands on her and I prayed. Do you know what happened? The following morning, she came back in the morning and she said to me, one of the fibroids that was sitting on her leg that be before she couldn't move her leg, she said in the morning when she went to bath that that, one, that fibroid fell out in a lump. And now can't I see that she's walking, she's walking properly. So I told her, I said, keep believing. God will uproot all those fibroids one by one. So two days ago, I'm back in London now, and my, she goes to see my brother who is still back home in the village. 
and she says to my brother that that fiber has been falling out every day. It's falling out. It's coming out in, 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 in clots. It's been falling out and her stomach is now going down that if I see her, I will not believe that she's still the same person. So what God has done, from that time I prayed, God began to melt the fibroids. She said every day is falling out, everything is coming out, her stomach is, you know, going down and now she is walking, she is moving, she is no more having the pain. Let me tell you, the word of God does not fail. I don't know what your situation is. Maybe you've been diagnosed with a sickness that there is no cure. If you can believe, if you can speak the word of God, there is hope. This my cousin, and you know, it's so funny how God's mercy is so, so, so much in, on the life of the people that put their trust in him. Even when you don't trust him, his mercy is still upon your life. This my cousin doesn't have the money to go for this operation. And there is nobody who can help her. But God sent me. God put me on her pathway to pray for her. And God Almighty has done that which money could not do. She's been suffering with this fibroid for a long time. What is it you are going through? God, I pray in the name of Jesus that he will send you a helper. Someone that will help you. Someone that will bring testimony into your life. Our God is a good God. Our God is merciful. God sent me to come and tell you that no matter where you are struggling, that his word will help you to overcome like it did for this, my cousin. Don't give up on the goodness of God. I have walked with the Lord Jesus for many years. I have seen his word work. I have seen his power. I have seen his goodness. Again and again, in fact, on this trip that I went to Africa, the testimonies were so outstanding. Everywhere I showed up, there was a testimony. Testimony after testimony of the goodness of God. God's goodness has not expired. God's faithfulness has not failed. God sent me to come and tell you that his word can never fail you. What is it you are going through? His word will not fail you. I am here to encourage you to know that God still wants you to hold on to his word. Are you looking for a child? In Psalm 113 verse 9, the Bible says, God settles the barren woman in her home, making her a joyous mother of children. Don't think that your own case is hopeless. Is it miscarriage? Have you suffered a series of miscarriages? I want you to know that you can still embrace a child in your arms. God is not true with you yet. God is a faithful God. Is it infertility? Have they written you off? Don't write yourself off. That's why I wrote this book called Who Said You Are Too Old to Conceive? Who Said You Are Too Old to Conceive? Are you being told you are not too old to have a child? Have you given up on yourself? Are you saying, oh, I am not too old, I can't have children? Oh, no, 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 no. I dare you to prove the word of God. Don't give up on yourself. Don't call a pity party and say, oh, my case is hopeless. Eh, eh. Don't write yourself out. God is not true with you. The unchangeable, the one that made a 91-year-old woman to keep hope. His power has not expired. God is still on the throne. God is alive. His mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. God is not going to let you be put to shame. God is not going to let you down. Don't give up on the goodness of God. I want you to know that he is alive. The grave that could not stop him will not hold you. The grave that could not stop him will not hold you. Please don't write yourself off. What is it you are going? I have been through the waters. I have been through the fire. I have been through the storms of life. I have been through. Let me tell you, serving Jesus for the past 26, 7 years, I have been through rough places. But one thing is for sure. I want you to know that he has never failed me. Not for once has he allowed anybody to laugh at me. Our God is a good God. You do not serve a dead God. To the faithful, he will show himself faithful. 
Don't you ever allow anything to make you think that the promises of God have expired. The promises of God do not expire. The word of God cannot expire. God still has you under his arms. Underneath you are his everlasting arms. He is not going to let you fall. Our God is a good God. I have been in rough places. I have been in tough corners. I have been in places where they said there is no way. And each time in the midst of those storms, God has made a way for me. Where are you right now? It looks as if you are lost. It looks as if it's not going to happen. It's your business failing. God sent me to tell you. Your business will not fail. Do you have a promise for your business? If you have the word of God, continue to speak that word. Continue to declare that word. Don't stop declaring the word of God. Don't stop speaking the promises of God. What is it you are going through? <laughs> is it shame that is coming your way? Isaiah 45, 17 says, there is no shame for the righteous. What is it that is trying to shame you? Is trying to make you to be ashamed. Is trying to tell you that God's word will not bring you through. It's a lie. I have proved the living word of God. The word of God cannot fail. The word of God does not fail. It's not a cliche. It's not something I'm just saying. I have proved the word of God. How many times has the devil told me, oh, God's word has failed you, and I'm able to stand in a tinkle of an eye and tell the devil, the word of God is God. It is not going to fail me. The word of God is God. It cannot fail. It cannot be aborted. It cannot be ruined. The word of God cannot be stopped. Has he spoken? Will he not do it? God is not a man that he should lie. God is not the son of a man that he should change his mind. Has he spoken? Will he not do it? Has he promised it? Will he not make it good? We serve a living God. We serve a faithful God. God sent me to come and tell you that he is not going to fail, that his word is not going to fail you. Are you sick in your body? You are serving a God that says he healed all of our diseases. Psalm 103 verses 3. He healed all our diseases. He redeems your life from the pit. He crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. You serve a living God. He is faithful. God Almighty sent me to come and tell you that you will not be put to shame in the name of Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. Do you not know which way to go? Does it look as if you are lost in the wilderness? The Bible says in Isaiah 58 11 that the Lord will guide you continually. He will guide you continually. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. God guides you continually. He will take you through. He will take you by the hand. He will lead you to the rough places. He will make you to stand on solid ground. Our God is a good God. Our God is merciful and he is kind. Our God is faithful. Over many years, God has used me to help families across the nations of the world to receive their healing, whether it is for childbirth, whether it is just getting a job, whether it is just for your immigration. God has used me by his power to heal and to bring salvation to so many people. Are you suffering? Are you going through pain? Are you going through a situation that is unbearable? Then I want you to reach out. Visit my website. Website. I have so many materials there for you. I have developed special master classes. These master classes are, 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 are online platform. It's online. You can enroll in the master class and you can, you know, begin to use the master class to begin to know how to pray, how to go around the issues of infertility. We have about four master classes now. One on miscarriage and miscarriage.com. We have one on infertility, help for infertility.com. Man, you are not infertile. We are working on that one for the man out there that has been told he will never be a father or just going through male infertility. I want you to know that there is help. There is also another master class. God has not forgotten you. In case you are in the lowest point of your life and you are feeling there is no hope for you, God has not forgotten you. It's a master class that I developed. You can enroll in that master class and it will help you. God has not forgotten you. 
What a mighty God we serve. Our God is faithful. God sent me to come and tell you that you are not forsaken. You are not forgotten. You are not abandoned. He is there for you as an ever-present help. What a mighty God we serve. He is good. He is faithful. He is merciful. And he is kind. What a mighty God we serve. I also just want to introduce some of the materials, some of the books that we have in the Overcoming Infertility Collection. These are books that has helped women and families and men across the nations of the world to overcome infertility. Mm -hmm. I've lifted this one before called Who Said You Are Too Old to Conceive? This one is the book that will help the older woman to have her child. Who told you you are too old to conceive? The promises of God in this uh, book will help you. I remember helping a pastor's wife who was almost 50 and she came across this book and she, she decided to prove the word of God and she said if this book can do it for me I will give you the money for IVF and to the glory of God God Almighty used this book to give her a baby boy and she had to pay up for what she promised <laughs> what a mighty God we serve who said you are too old to conceive Blessed be God. God has not forgotten you. I love this book. It's a small book. It's close to my heart. I just wrote it for the woman. You know, sometimes during Mother's Day, women are hurting. They don't know what to do. One Mother's Day, I decided to compile this book and just to bless the women of the world with it, to let them know that God has not forgotten them. God has not forgotten you. What are you going through? He has not forgotten you. God has not forgotten you. All these books you can find on my website, lwhhealingcenter.com. Woman, you are not infertile. This is one of my best books that God Almighty wrote. This book has put babies in the arms of women across the nations of the world. Woman, you are not infertile. It will help you. Visit my website and, you know, just get some of these materials maybe you even know someone who has been struggling to conceive for a long time don't keep quiet this will help them this is better this is the best gift you can give them package this and send it off to them i remember one of the guys that came one day to my office to fix my computer and as he was working on my computer a phone call came through and when that phone call came through it was uh, uh, a testimony and after that testimony, he said to me, Pastor Veronica, can you help me? My brother's wife, had they been married 19 years, there is no child. And he bought all the materials and sent it off to them. And I ministered to that woman, and within three months, she conceived. And today, she's a happy mother of two boys. If you know someone who has been struggling for a long time to conceive, don't just keep quiet and say, oh, I'm praying for them. Do something. Add some feet to your prayers. Get these materials for them. It will make a difference. What a mighty God we serve. Triumph over impotence is another good book that I wrote to help the man out there struggling with impotence. You want to bury impotence. You want to get rid of it for good. I believe this book will make a tremendous difference in your life. Blessed be God. Triumph over growth that occur in the womb is another great book that I wrote. This book will teach you how to pray against things like fibrous, polyps, cysts, and so on. When the doctors diagnosed me with uh, um, six polyps and um, uh, six fibrous and one polyps in my womb, this was the book that I used. I went back to the doctor after praying with this book, and they could not find anything in my womb. Let me tell you, God's word is not against the doctor, and the doctor is not against God's word. Together, it all works for our good. Blessed be God. What a mighty God we serve. God is so faithful. God is merciful, and God is kind. Another wonderful book I want to talk about is, Oh God, Why All the Miscarriages? This book will help the woman who is prone to miscarriage to beat miscarriage. This book is tremendous. Amazing book. 
it has helped so many women beat miscarriage. And also remember to visit the endmiscarriage.com masterclass. Please enroll in that masterclass so that you can learn how to pray properly and defeat miscarriage. Our God is a good God. There are so many other books here, but I can't introduce them. I really want to pray with you that God Almighty will help you and be with you and guide you in all your ways. In the name of Jesus, I want you to stretch your hand towards me and let me pray for you. Father, I pray for your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for the man and the woman out there that is hurting maybe it's infertility maybe it's pain in their body maybe it's a situation that they can't control i release the healing stripes of jesus be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus i rebuke sickness i rebuke disease i rebuke miscarriage i rebuke infertility you have been nailed to the cross be healed in in the name of Jesus, I declare the healing power of God over you. By the wounds of Jesus, you are healed. Father, thank you for your people. I thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you visit us on Facebook. Make sure you visit us online. Make sure you visit us on helpforinfertility.com. Make sure you, you download your free handout. Make sure that you reach out. We are there to help you. We are there to guide you. We are there to strengthen you. Together we are breaking the bounds of inf human infertility. We are bringing hope to the hopeless across the nations of the world. We serve a covenant-keeping God. We serve a living God. He is a faithful God. God will not fail you. Underneath you are his everlasting arms. Make sure you reach out. We have so many things going on. Make sure you call. Make sure you make yourself available. And we will be there to help you and to support you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. It's been such a wonderful time in the presence of God. And it's been a privilege ministering to you. I'll be back here again next Tuesday at the same time, 1.30 p.m. Bye-bye. Are you tired of looking for a job without success? Are you frustrated with your present job? Do you need money urgently? Or have you just lost your job? In by faith, I received my God-given job. I reveal the secrets to you. For three years, I was looking for a job. No result, no nothing. The pastor gave me a chapter from the new book, and I found a job just after 10 days. And it's not even far from my house. I praise 